Hey everybody, it's Miss Rez. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I'm so excited I get to read to you the last story of our journey story in first grade. So I'll be reading us our last story out of here and I'm so excited because I know it's always one of um, my first graders in the past favorite. So I hope it's one of your favorite weeks too. As we look at Hi, Fly Guy. Raise your hand if you've ever read a Fly Guy story. A lot of you have, and you might have heard of this one before. So, we're going to be reading it this week, and we're going to be working on some tricky vocabulary words. The word caught, the spider caught a bug in its web. Took, I took ladybugs to show and tell. Listen, listen to the bees buzzing. Thought, she thought the spider was scary. Minute. I wanted the spider in the web for a minute. Beautiful. The butterfly is beautiful. Idea. Here is an idea or a plan for a project. And friendship. Our friendship is strong. So, as we're reading this um, story this week, I want you to be thinking about the characters. And I want you to think about the words that they use, the actions that they take, and the feelings that they have. Um, and what's also cool is High Fly Guy is a chapter book. And I know a lot of us have been working on chapter books at home. Some short chapter books, some long chapter books. Everybody's kind of doing what works for them. And this um, story is a, a short chapter book, so it won't be super long. But I'll go ahead and start it. High Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. And if you like this story, then you're in for a treat because Ted Arnold wrote lots of Fly Guy books. Chapter One. A fly went flying. He was looking for something to eat. Something tasty. Something slimy. Ooh. A boy went walking. He was looking for something to catch. Something smart. Something for the amazing pet show. Ooh, amazing pet show. That sounds fun. They met. Bonk! Think about how the actors, they are the um, characters here are acting. They definitely are a little surprised to see each other, huh? The boy caught the fly in a jar. A pet, he said. I want you to look closely. How does that fly look like he's feeling versus the little boy? The fly was mad. He wanted to be free. He stomped his foot and said, buzz. Think about how our flies feel in here. Not too good. The boy was surprised. He said, you know my name. You are the smartest pet in the world. So, hmm, what is the little boy's name? Chapter two. Buzz took the fly home. This is my pet, Buzz said to mom and dad. He is smart. He can say my name. Listen. Buzz opened the jar. The fly flew out. Ooh, look at the characters there. How are they feeling? How's everybody feeling in that one? Flies can't be pets, said dad. They are pests. He got the fly swatter. The fly cried, Buzz! And Buzz came to the rescue. You're right, said Dad. This fly is smart. He needs a name, said Mom. Buzz thought for a minute. Fly Guy, said Buzz. And Fly Guy said, Buzz. It was time for lunch. Buzz gave Fly Guy something to eat. Fly Guy was happy. Check out what he gave him to eat. You think that makes Fly Guy a little bit happier with that big old hot dog in there? Maybe. Chapter 3, The Amazing Pet Show. Buzz took Fly Guy to the amazing pet show. Check out how they're looking there. The judges laughed. Flies can't be pets, they said. Flies are pests. Look at the other people's pets there. That's pretty impressive. Buzz was sad. He opened the jar. Shoo, Fly Guy, he said. Flies can't be pets. 
but Fly Guy liked Buzz. He had an idea. He did some fancy flying. Look at the judges. How do you think they feel about that? The judges were amazed. The fly can do tricks, they said, but flies can't be pets. Then Fly Guy said, Buzz. The judges were more amazed. The fly knows the boy's name, they said, but flies can't be pets. Fly Guy flew high, high, high into the sky. Then he dived down, down, down into the jar. The fly knows his jar, the judges said. This fly is a pet. They let Fly Guy in the show. He even won an award. Let's see, we've got tallest pet, cutest pet, pet with the most legs, heaviest pet, and smartest pet. And so began a beautiful, friendship. The end. So that was one of the first stories that Ted Arnold wrote with um, Fly Guy as a character so you can see how they, their friendship first began and it was really quite silly. Um, I want you to think about what you thought was the silliest part of that story. I thought that the pet contest was pretty silly and I thought that they really thought that Fly Guy was saying Buzz's name but I don't know about you, but I think most flies really say buzz. But I hope you enjoyed this story this week, and I'll see all y'all soon.